changes to Rumble, Urgot, Shogaf, and the Tribunal, covered in this episode of the Patch Preview. Welcome, Summoners. I'm Freak, and I'm here with Morello, Lead Champion Designer. Together, we'll be discussing some gameplay changes coming into the next update for League of Legends. While this video does not cover every single change, it will explain the thought process behind some of our decisions. Rumble seemingly came out of nowhere and was suddenly an overpowered champion. In this patch, we'll be lowering the damage amplification from the Danger Zone, as well as reducing the damage of Flame Spitter. What's the story here, Morello? We overbuffed Rumble on the Jace patch. No one really saw that change because we didn't do balance changes with that patch. Basically, we did a bug fix that made Flame Spitter more reliable, so you'd get the full damage out of the spell more often. The damage on Flame Spitter was extremely high and was balanced for when it was broken. We're bringing the damage value to something that's much more reasonable for the way it behaves now. We really like the Danger Zone gameplay, but we had to reevaluate the numbers on it. You'll still feel good for using Danger Zone effectively, but not 30% stronger good. Last patch, we gave Urgot a whole slew of nerfs aimed at his ability ranges and damage. This patch, we're reverting the damage change in Acid Hunter, meaning its base damage is going back up and the attack damage ratio is going back down. Why are we reverting this change? Our goal when balancing champions is to let them shine in their own special niche. Urgot's role is really tanky fighter range carry who assassinates other carries, and we didn't want to change that about him. And we just went too far with the last nerf on his Q. Cho'Gath is one of our oldest champions, and he needed a tune-up, so we're making three upgrades. We're quickening his cast times, fixing an issue where Rupture's delay before hitting was random, and making his Vorpal Spikes scale in size as Cho'Gath himself grows. What do these changes mean for Cho'Gath? Sometimes we want to give abilities longer cast times, such as like Karthus' Requiem, but Cho'Gath just isn't one of those champions. We found that his cast times were really long and kind of clunky, so we're bringing him down to a half second. This change is going to make Cho'Gath feel a lot better when he chains his abilities together. For Rupture, it was basically hitting somewhere in between 1 half and 3 quarter seconds randomly. We fixed that bug, and now Rupture's timing is consistent right in the middle of those two values. Now Cho'Gath players can actually plan for the delay of the ability, just like other skill shots in our game. The Vorpal Spikes change really is more for fun. They do get bigger and hit more targets as he grows, and not with just Feast, but skills like Lulu's Ultimate or the Summoner Spell Surge. This is going to make him a little bit stronger, but mostly it's going to make him feel a lot better. The Tribunal is about building a more sportsmanlike community. If you find hostile players in your game, remember to report them after the match. When a player receives enough reports, the Tribunal builds a case against him or her for community review. If you're level 20 or higher, head to the Tribunal to vote on cases and help shape the community for the better. We're experimenting with new ways to reform players more effectively. We'll be distributing reform cards to players who receive punishment in the Tribunal. Players who get punished will get a link in their email that shows them the case that the community reviewed. This case will contain full chat logs and stats of the games so they can identify the behaviors they need to improve. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends Patch Preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video.